In this video, we're going to be taking a look at Paragon's Frequency Graph Display. With the options available to you, this is where you can fine tune and customise your impulse response to better suit your mix. The graph itself shows frequency on the x-axis and either decibels to full scale or decay decibels per second on the y-axis. The nodes on this graph allow you to control and customise these parameters. On the main display, you can add up to five nodes across the frequency spectrum. In the bottom left, you'll see the option to add or delete a node. The next option allows you to switch between nodes, and this can also be achieved by clicking the node itself on the graph. The next set of options all affect the node you've already selected, allowing you to change the type of node, frequency, Q-curve and decibel value. You can select which channels are affected by these edits also. So let's put this all to use. I've got some dialogue from my door, which is being fed into the plugin. These are the most widespread of Africa's primates. The fundamental frequencies of this person's voice are around 85 to around 300 hertz. I can edit the amplitude to adjust in these frequencies. These are the most widespread of Africa's primates and can live wherever there is water, grasslands or trees. Alternatively, and unique to Paragon, if I switch to the decay setting, I can lower the decay time in the frequencies around the dialogue but leave the amplitude untouched. These are the most widespread of Africa's primates and can live wherever there is water, grasslands or trees. Now I've reduced the impulse response's decay in one instance and boosted the amplitude in the other. Both methods can help to create more clarity and focus in the audio. If you've enjoyed this short video, please check out our other content or subscribe to the channel for more.